Hello everyone, it's that time again. I have my huge mess behind me. It's inevitable, no matter what I do, I feel like at the end of a certain amount of time, usually a month or so, this chaos ensues, no matter what I do. And I'm kind of just like leaning in. <laughs> That's what happens. Routines get off, things get messy, and you just pick them up and keep going. So I am excited to do kind of a beauty, self-care, reset type of video with you guys. I've been pretty sick the last couple weeks and I'm finally feeling better. I don't know when you guys are gonna see this video, but I'm finally feeling better and it's time to kind of tackle some of the things that were pushed to the side while I was healing and recovering and it's been a really nice slow night. I usually do this type of thing in the morning like I go do my morning stuff and then come in and you know reset everything. I'll clean stuff. I'll shop my stash all of that but today I'm doing it in the evening and taking it a little slow and it's been really nice. I got to like enjoy my day and now I'm here to make sure the rest of the week goes well and kind of get things in order and it's really comfy and cozy so I hope you guys will enjoy the video. I'm mostly going to be shopping my stash but obviously there's tons of stuff behind me so we're gonna need to put that away first but before we get into today's video i want to thank the sponsor scentbird you guys know i'm a fragrance girly i have a whole perfume channel i'm pretty scent obsessed and if you guys don't know scentbird is a fragrance subscription they have tons of fragrances over on their site at this point they have like over 600 they have everything from celebrity super popular designers and niche which is my favorite just in general fragrances can be so expensive and it's nice to be able to test out a scent really make sure it works with your body chemistry really make sure it works with your vibe and also seasonally to change out your fragrances I think Scentbird can be a really great option for that each month you get a vial of perfume of your choice you get to make your own cue which I really love but let's get into the scents that I got to try this month first I was really excited to try out Dirty Peach because it's one of the newer scents from Heretic and I'm always intrigued by a peach note this is giving like a bright peach but there's something a little earthy going on with it as well I honestly feel like I'm getting like a more all natural kind of healthy peach ring in a way not super green I get something like deeper very nice I'm excited to keep playing with this especially as we move out of summer I'm gonna try to get some use out of this in the next couple weeks I did want to try some more fall scents though so this one is from house of bow which I really love their bottles they're absolutely stunning but they are pricey this one is called infinite oud and if you guys don't know oud can be kind of intense but I find this one to be really approachable there's also some myrrh in here. There is incense, some cedar wood. Definitely leans unisex, but it has a little body to it, which I feel like is gonna hold up really nice with colder weather. I really think it's a good introduction to oud that's not too intense. Okay, and last, the perfume I was really excited to show you guys, because this is my top recommendation. I actually own this bottle. This is Inicio's Side Effect. I love this. If you're looking for a deeper, darker, sexier vanilla, I really suggest trying this out. Oh my gosh, side effect. I have like a lot of memories to this because I wore it all last fall, but this is a boozy, sweet, rich vanilla. It has some notes of cinnamon. It has some tobacco in it. There's something about it that's kind of sticky smelling, but in the best way. I don't find this to be too heavy, but it is a richer fragrance. I think it's perfect for fall and winter going into cold months. If you're looking for a fall recommendation from me, I really suggest Inicio side effect. I think you will love it. It's a really beautiful, rich, boozy tobacco vanilla and it's one of my favorites. That being said, if you guys want to check out Scentbird, you can use my code LaurenMay55 to save 55% off your first month. I also will have a QR code up here that you can use to scan as well. Scentbird is available in the US and Canada and I'd love to know if you're going to pick out a fragrance, what you pick out. I just love talking all things scent so let me know down below but thank you so much to Scentbird for sponsoring this video and thank you guys so much for your support. It really does help out the channel and I appreciate it so much but now let's get back to the video. Okay, I think the first thing I want to do is just kind of clear off the bottom of the shelf because that kind of becomes a catch-all for me. And I'm realizing right now too, I don't think you guys have seen the kind of new-ish storage I have going on. I don't know if I'm going to get into like each and every drawer right now, but I'm really enjoying these drawers. I found them at I think Home Goods or Marshalls, something like that. But I love that they're like tinier drawers and that I'm able to fit a lot of like smaller items and really get to organizing them without them taking up a ton of room it's really been super helpful for me so anyway I want to get into just kind of cleaning up that bottom area so let's get started on that I might show you guys some things as I'm putting it away okay let's get this out of there first off <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, I basically have everything put away. I'll show you that in a second, but I thought I would show you some close-ups. Some of this is PR, but also some of it is just some new stuff that you'll see on the channel soon. So these are from Kaja. They're these new lip oils, and they're basically just like a gloss, and there's four different colors. So far, I've been enjoying these, but I'm still testing them. Pretty cute. They do have that like pH changing thing about them, but I've kind of, I don't know, I've just kind of um, accepted the pH and am embracing it. So those are from Kaja. I have the new stuff from Tree Hut for fall. So I'm going to put this all in my bathroom. I did want to shout out though, this sweet cream whipped shea butter smells pretty dang good. I wore it for the first time today and it kind of smells like icing or I don't know, something like that. But also at the same time, I don't know if you guys are like slime people, <laughs> if you buy slime, but if you buy any slime that's scented kind of sweet and like gingerbread or graham cracker or marshmallow, anything like that, s'mores, something like that, I feel like this smells like the slime. <laughs> It kind of smells like slime to me. So I don't know. I just thought that was funny, but really enjoying that so far. Anyway, I need to put these away. These, I guess you guys don't need to see. Like, these are just palettes. I do have the new Glossier foundation. I bought this myself. Really excited to try it. So we'll be trying that on for sure very soon. Super excited to be trying out the new Glow Recipe Serum. This was sent to me. So exciting. I would have bought this myself. So <laughs> I'm excited for that one. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw I got the new Glaminatrix singles. So excited for these. I will pop a video up here. They are so sparkly, so stunning. I also have the new Road Lip Treatment and I decided to try out the new quads from Viseart because they were doing a great sale and I really love the Viseart stuff. So anyway, these are just some sneak peeks. And then last year from Lottie London, we have a little spooky moment. This was sent to me and it's all Halloween themed. So there's some nails which actually look really pretty. I like black and red ombre. There's a little sponge and just a few things. So definitely on theme for Halloween coming up. The last kind of thing I need to do is I want to take all these perfumes off the top. I feel like I just let them kind of build up over time because I need space and sometimes I just like pile things like for video ideas or just groupings. I just group stuff a lot. Anyway, um, so I'm going to take these off here just so we can have like a fully fresh start. Okay, we did it. It's all cleaned up and nice. I love the look of this. Nice and just organized. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it's starting to get a little late and I don't want to go too late into the night tonight. I still wanna like be able to have my routine and everything tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna pick this up tomorrow where I'll shop my stash and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be using for the next month or so. Um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, I hope you're doing well. I am here, it is not morning anymore. <laughs> it's been a day, let me tell you. I kept my hat on from this morning because hat hair is real and I was so sweaty from my walk. Honestly, maybe it was even a little too hot. I went a little bit later in the day for my walk, like later in the morning than I normally do and it was still super hot and I think I got like almost a little sick from it, like to be honest. <laughs> I'm like, I think that must have been it or maybe I ate something last night, I don't know. I had to take it slow this morning and just kind of, you know, listen to my body if you will. But we're gonna finish this shop, my stash actually. I can't wait to get in here. I think what I'm gonna do, if you can't see here, I brought in what I usually use for shopping my stash, like where I put my products and keep in my bathroom so that I can access them easier than all the stuff in my collection. But I'm gonna go through and pick the products up first because it's gonna cover 
of the drawers if I don't do that. So I want to go through what I'm thinking for the Shop My Stash. I really don't want more than five products in each category and I can like break that down pretty specifically. So I can have like five cream blushes, five powder blushes, but I really don't want over five. So putting that in my mind. I also want to not only try some things that I want to get some final thoughts on, but I also want to bust out some older stuff, things that I haven't visited in a while. I also want to think about the seasons changing and the fact that, you know, fall is coming. So whether I want to like start getting excited about some fall picks, maybe I'll add some of those in, but also some of those items that maybe I really only use in the summer or tend to love more in the summer. Maybe I'll get some last couple uses out of them. So anyway, let's get started. I'm going to start with foundation and kind of base products first. Okay, starting with some primers. I am going to do the Hourglass. I'm actually almost done with this Hourglass primer. I've really been enjoying it for keeping me a little bit more matte throughout the day. So this is probably almost gone and I wouldn't be surprised if I finish this up very soon and I might repurchase it because I like it that much. I also decided to go with the e.l.f. Uh, Power Grip. This I have conflicting feelings about because it is so grippy and texturally that's kind of a lot but I want to just use it a few more times to really 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 nail down my thoughts on it And then kind of similarly a lot of testing. I feel like in this one I'm gonna put the rare beauty. This one is the more like smoothing one. It's called the pore diffuser primer So I want to give that a try and see if it can help with just smoothing That's another area that I would love to uh, Improve I guess is just having like smoother skin throughout the day. I picked three different foundations I went with the yummy skin from Danessa Myricks really enjoying this. I do feel find it's pretty dewy, but it looks so good on my skin. Like I love the way it applies initially, um, but throughout the day it definitely gets a little oily. So I'm, I'm really trying to like work different products with this to see how I can make it work best for me. Okay, change the angle, but the other foundations that I'm putting in here, the LYS Triple Fix, I think this might work for me. It might be a little light, but I really want to keep using it. I remember loving it and I really like the concealer in the line too. So I'm going to put that in and then I also wanted to put the makeup forever the new one this was sent to me but I've only really tried it a couple of times and I remember this working so well for me in the past also I know it's been reformulated since then but I want to really give it some full day wear test see how it holds up on my oily ass skin so that's also going to go in those are going to be my foundations for concealers I've really been loving the tower 28 so I want to put those in I'm keeping on testing really really loving I'm enjoying 2.0 the most for under my eyes just because it's a little less stark, but I think 1.0 is going to be so nice for me when it gets a little bit cooler out and I lose some of my tan. So really loving that. The only other traditional concealer I'm going to put in there for right now is the Yensa. This was sent to me and I want to try it out. I love the Yensa BC foundation and I've been trying the Silk Serum, I think it is. And so I'm really hopeful that this concealer is going to work for me too. So I'm putting that in. And then last oldie but a goodie, I'm putting the Sigma in here. I've had the NARS one, the new color corrector from them. I've been using it and I thought I liked it initially and now I'm questioning how much I like it and this is one I know in the past I've really loved. Hello, look at that pan, like obviously. So I really want to use this and just kind of remember what a good color corrector is for me and then I feel like I can make some better thoughts and decisions on that too. So that's going to go in and those are my concealers. I'm keeping it chill with two powders, okay? I'm putting this Bobbi Brown in pretty sure I don't like this. Like, I feel like I'm giving you all the spoilers to all my reviews coming up, but I don't know if I like this thing. Um, I almost feel like this might be one of the reasons why the foundation also doesn't work very well or the tinted skin moisturizer, but I want to give this a fair shot and I also want to try it more without using the full line of products. So I'm giving it its full, full testing. So that's going in. And then I'm going to use the House Labs for a loose powder to have on hand. Last for base products, so many of you guys, in my last video, I was talking about wanting a setting spray and you guys all were recommending the Cali Ray, which I already have. So I'm like, Okay, I'm really gonna be putting this to the test. I've been using it. I'm probably almost halfway done and I haven't seen the results. I feel like so many of you guys are like raving about. So I really wanna try using it before I even put on primer, kind of underneath makeup and over makeup, really put it to the test. So I'm putting that in and then I also thought I would bust back out the Beauty Blender one. This kind of is supposed to do a lot. It's supposed to set makeup. It's supposed to plump the skin, blur the pores and reduce shine. So has a lot of claims. 
ones. And again, I really just wanna really put it to the test. I wanna almost be scientific in a way about it. Like when I'm putting it on, what products I'm testing it with, what hour of the day are we at, all of those things. So I can really know what products are gonna do well for me in what situations and have that kind of knowledge. So I know if I need a long wear makeup day, I can put the right products on to do that for myself. Those are my base products. All right, let's talk about cheeks. So blushes, bronzers, highlighters, this is always such a big category for me. I just love trying different stuff and I have a lot of stuff, so I like to have it in rotation. So we're gonna start with cream blushes. I have this Say Cream Blush or like liquid blush. It's called the Dew Blush. This is in the color Spicy, which is so pretty. It's like a terracotta kind of sunburnt color and I just want to get some more Thoughts on it, just wanna use it. I love these types of shades. Like I have these shades a million times over in my collection. This one is more fall themed from Victoria Beckham. This is a cream stick blush. And there's something, I know it looks kind of similar, but there's something slightly berry about this. This is called mini skirt. It just has this tiny bit. It's like the fall version of, I feel like a sunburnt type of blush. So really excited to be busting that out again. This one's an oldie, okay, from Fenty. I just want to use this because I really want to know if this is something I want to keep around in my collection. It's getting old and it's cream, so there's that. But also, like, do I still love this? I loved this at the time, um, but I don't want to keep it around if it's not something I'm still going to be loving. Very pretty. One of those kind of like bronzy blushes has a lot of shimmer in it. It was like a limited edition color. It's called Fenty Glow. So, um, I'm gonna put that in. And then I was missing my Phytosurgeons blushes. So I put two in here that are newer to me. They're more orangey. And again, kind of want to get some last minute use out of these before summer is all the way over. Okay, this one's Ember. Look how pretty that is. Such a fun, like peachy coral. And then this other one, Molten, is even more kind of orange. It's almost kind of pumpkin. It's giving pumpkin spice. Okay, it took a second. I feel like I haven't really used these and you have to kind of break through that top layer. Anyway, this is Molten, which is way more like orange, like orange, orange, like pumpkin, pumpkin face, you know, in a cute way. Maybe we can make pumpkin girl the new trend. <laughs> anyway, I am putting that in as well. And I just want to, you know, maybe I'll try to figure out a look to put around this. That's what I'm hoping. So those are the creams. Moving on to powder blushes. I have two from Laura Mercier. I actually bought these during a sale they were having and it was pretty good. I was actually really excited to get some brighter powder blushes. I feel like that's a category I've kind of stayed away from, but I've been loving it in cream form. And then the few powder blushes I have that are brighter, I've really been loving as well. So this one's in pomegranate. And I don't have a ton of like familiarity with this formula, but I think it is stunning because it's not overly pigmented. You can build it up and get that pigment, don't get me wrong, but it has a sheerness to it, which really lends to having a more natural look or just an easier buildup for my skin tone, especially. Look at this beautiful red leaning blush. This one is called Grapefruit, and I've already been using this one a little bit. Reminds me of the Dior one that just came out, but I do feel like... I don't know if I like this one better, but I just feel like this one has a smoother formula. I don't find that one doesn't apply nicely, but you definitely can't get a swatch like this off that one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, um, really loving trying these. I also got a more plummy one um, for fall. So we'll we'll bust that out in the next Shop My Stash probably. <laughs> the other blushes I have here, another bright one from Giorgio Armani. I just wanna like revisit this. I really love the formula and how sheer this is, but with this blush, it wasn't really working for me, so I just want to try it again. Like, I love revisiting products, trying them again, seeing if they work for me now, whether my moods change, my preferences have changed, my skin somehow has changed, my technique, so that's going in. And then I do have some other more neutral ones. So this one's from Ciate London. This is pretty shimmery. It's called First Date, but it's just a really nice, like, warm, neutral, leaning blush. It almost is a highlighter, though. It has a pretty high shine on it. And then I'm busting out a Milani oldie but a goodie. This this one is called Rose de Oro, so what, Golden Rose, and this is a beautiful baked blush. Pretty similar, actually, to the Ciate one, and you can see them there. Like, I think the Milani one is slightly more orange and has, like, a golden sheen to it, whereas this has almost, like, a silvery thing, but... 
overall very similar so <laughs> we'll see which one I like better because they're gonna do kind of the same thing okay I feel like there's a lot in the highlighter category and I technically went over on some but I'm counting the same shades as one kind of thing because I'm really just testing formula at that point we'll start with creams I have two sticks here one is from a uh, color pop this was sent to me a while ago and this is in the shade glaze oh my god that's watched so bad I promise it's smoother looking it looked kind of chunky so that's glazed look how pretty that is so stunning and then this one's from Rowan this is the other stick I really love this stick from Rowan and I really just want to give it love I love just enjoying the makeup I have I love testing new things and finding those new loves but it's also so fun to just let yourself use the things that just mm, make you so excited about makeup make you excited to use it so anyway I'm gonna put both of those in kind of similar if you're asking me <laughs> wink wink okay for powder i have a few things so from rare beauty still testing these i will promise you a video is coming i will let you know the definitive freaking thoughts are these guys worth it i know everyone else loves them i've just been on the fence myself look at these swatches though stunning stunning little swatches they felt smooth as little butter little butter cakes so this is enlighten and then the more rosy toned one is called mesmerize so look at them oh I love a highlighter. I really do love a highlighter. <laughs> I also have two of the Bare Minerals. These are the new blushing highlighters. This one is Peach Glow, and you're gonna see the difference here. That's Peach Glow, and that one is Opal Glow. And you can see the base on them so much more. They don't have the shine that the Rare Beauty do. They definitely just have more of that base pigment. They almost feel like satin eyeshadows. So keep testing those. Another one I'm gonna continue to test is from Shantikai. This is called The Real Glow. It came out for summer and I just want to get final thoughts on it. Another more subtle one, you know? This highlighter here is from Dose of Colors and it's kind of pink. Yeah, it's pink, but it has a higher shine on it but it's kind of icy. This one's called Dream On. And then you guys, finally in my collection, finally, I have added the Fenty highlighter, like the true highlighter, the double-ended one. This has been on my list for forever. And during the Ulta Days of Beauty, I picked it up half off. I was like, okay, I gotta make sure I get this at a half off price since it's so old. Not in a bad way, but it's just not a new release. I'm definitely gonna make sure I save money on it instead of buying it full price. You know what I mean? So we have Lightning Dust and fire crystal i'm gonna put them here one is more subtle but like not powdery and i think that's something i really like about it it doesn't it's not powdery on the skin and then this one is more intense it has a little bit more of a base on it so far really enjoying it but i just want to keep enjoying it keep trying it so those are all the highlighters the bronzer sections also getting a little bit full we have a lot going on here so for powder i really love milani as a brand but i realized there were a lot of products that i didn't have from the line so i want to try this baked bronzer i love a baked bronzer i love a glowy bronzer haven't tried this on the skin yet um but it is pretty glowy <laughs> It's pretty shimmery. Um, and again, I'm down with the shimmer, but this almost feels like a, a warm golden highlighter. So we'll see how that actually looks on my skin, but I wanna give it a good fair shot. But this one's from House Labs, oh my gosh. And I really love this bronzer. I think it's really nice. I feel like all the products so far that I've really tried from House Labs, most of them are very good quality. So putting that in as my matte bronzer powder. And then this just came in today from my BoxyCharm. So never tried it, never used it. It's from Natasha Denona. It's the Alloy Cheek Duo. Oh my, I don't know if this was made just for BoxyCharm or what, but really excited to have this. It has the highlighter and the bronzer. I just wanna see if it works for me. Bronzer is looking a little red and it's, well, let's watch it. Let's watch it together first time for everything, baby. It looks a little deep, so I don't know if it's gonna work. We're gonna try it out though. Might be best for medium skin tones, but I'm gonna still give it a, a whirl. As for creams, there's a lot going on. This was sent to me in PR from Yensa. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping stuff. I'm not sure how this is gonna work for me. It looks pretty warm. That's the thing. I'm a little nervous because it does look warm. Oh, but it's very sheer. I don't know, I'm gonna give that little balm a try. I've wanted to try it for a while, but um, you know, haven't gotten around to it. So now that I have it, I'm gonna try it out. This is the new bronzer from Persona in Mojave. I've really been using this a lot, so I just wanna keep using it. I've loved the color 
definitely the best shade match for me in the Dreamstick bronzers. So I've really been enjoying that. From LYS, this is the bronzing stick or cream bronzer in No Limits. Another one I just wanna keep using. So that's a swatch of it there. And then I'm realizing I'm not really like a contour girl, but I did pick up this Milk Makeup little stick. I can't believe this is the normal size now. It's so crazy to me, because they used to have that big one. Anyway, this is toasted in the Sculpt stick. So I just want to like, I don't know, drop this everywhere and get fuzzies on it. No, um, but I just want to give some contouring a shot. <laughs> I feel like contouring is also kind of nice for anytime, but sometimes in winter, I feel like, you know, when you have your more pale skin, it can kind of look nice. So anyway, that's the bronzer and I guess contour kind of section. For this next section, I'm gonna just pull from the drawers themselves and then I'm going to show you what I, I'm getting. So this is like eye stuff. This is more eye stuff and then I have lips over here. I think I'm just gonna pull it and then show you. So I think that will be easiest. But again, let me know if you want like a deep dive into the drawers where we go through everything. I think that would be fun, but that would probably be a pretty long video like all on its own. So let me know if you want that. Okay, we have a lot of stuff to go through, so I'm gonna go kind of willy-nilly with it, as in, I don't know if it makes sense the order of any of this. So first, I have the MAC Pigment in Tan. I really wanted to wear this a lot for summer, and I wore it a few times, but I think it'll work well into fall too, so I'm putting that in. It's the only loose pigment I picked. I have a few cream shadows. I went with a few yellow pieces of makeup because I am planning on doing a banana-inspired look, so this is from ColourPop. It's the Super Shock, which it just has like a golden sheen. It's the color Pressed Juice. I picked this oldie, but a goodie from Lorac. Um, I just, oh my gosh, my nails. <laughs> They make it impossible. I want to just see if I still like this product because it is getting older. It looks pretty light there, but um, that is from Lorac. It's the shade Cashmere. This from MAC is Vintage Selection. I saw a short or a, an Instagram reel actually that someone was like, if you don't have Vintage Selection, you need it. And I own Vintage Selection. So I was like, okay, I want to try that on. It looked so pretty on her eyes, but I never feel like I can actually get this built up in a really pretty way on my eyes so I'm giving it a second chance inspired by that video love when people are like recommending things and I already have it I'm like oh let me go dig that out of my drawers <laughs> the last two here these are from Charlotte Tilbury and I just feel like I haven't given these a ton of love so this one they both came out for I want to say summer last year this is sunlit glow which has a bit of a duochrome thing going on really pretty. There's a lot of cream shadows, just be warned. I don't think I'm gonna pick a ton of palettes because I'm really testing tons and tons of creams. And this one is in the shade Exaggerize, which is supposed to be like after the quad, but I find this to turn really warm on me. It has that like silver sparkle, but it's pretty warm, especially sheared out, blended out. So anyway, I put that in. Oh my gosh, I have to show you the new stick that I just got from Byredo. This is a Nikki LaRose freaking purchase. That's why I bought it. <laughs> okay, I got this stick shadow in Coleopetra. I went up to the counter, I was like, I'm looking for Cleopatra. <laughs> it's not called Cleopatra. So this is what it looks like. It looks very red but it has like a blue sheen to it. These do not like dry down, dry down, but I really feel like once you share the shadow out, it's when the beauty comes out. So it has this blue sparkle on top of like the red base 
super pretty. Can't wait to try this out on my eyes. It looked so pretty on her. I had to try it. But to be honest, the shadow stick obsession is very real. I'm in the midst of testing about a million things. So it's not boring. I know I wouldn't be boring you by swatching all of these, but we'd be here probably an extra 20 minutes just to swatch them. And trust me, it's coming, okay? It's coming, shadow sticks are coming. So those are all going in. Kind of broke my five product rule for those because yeah, obviously <laughs> there's way more than five of those. Some little quads, I'll show you those that I picked out that are in those drawers. From Rowan, I picked out the Eyes On Me. Another one I thought would work well kind of transitioning from summer to fall, like this could be pumpkin spice. Isn't it funny how you can make it like, oh, bronzy summer or like pumpkin spice, but that's gonna be pumpkin spice. And I decided to put the cooler quad 52 degrees in as well i don't have as much like familiar familiar i'm not as familiar let's say that <laughs> with this quad as i am with a lot of the other ones so i'd really love to test this one out those are a few swatches but um yeah i put two rowan in did you guys know there's a rowan candle company it's not the same but i mean i was like shocked it's like <laughs> the same name i decided to put the mini starlet in from natasha denona just want to keep using it and liking it i really want to use some of this plum as well specifically i wanted that shade in my you know shot my sash i have two singles from kiko in here um, I've been wanting to try these for a while. This is 201, which was a lot different than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. So very light, but I want to get that on my eyes. I haven't tried on my eyes and it could be something that's like simple, but really beautiful. This one, I mean, taupey metallic goodness. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> this is the shade 200 and there it is really really pretty these are like a baked formula and i they give me a lot of the same vibes as like the shantakai ones so um they're definitely more inexpensive than those though the last couple of single shadows i did put mac satin taupe in here i used my back to mac the last time you could ever do it <laughs> i brought it in i'd been collecting stuff for a while and i exchanged it for satin taupe so i'm putting satin taupe in i also picked this moira shadow i I thought if I wanted to amp up that by Rado sh stick shadow, I could use something like this. Look at that. I'm gonna just tap a little. This is in the shade Just Right, but it's like that blue. Look at that. Oh, so stunning. These Moira Pot shadows are so, so pretty. You know, the by Rado sticks like $35 and it's subtler and all that, but you could put any like red brown base on put this over it it's just stunning i mean they're di they're totally different though this is way more sparkly if you don't want this much sparkle like this is so glam that's like a lot more understated but still there but i wanted to put this in in case i wanted to pair those i thought they'd be kind of fun together the last kind of fun things other i mean just brow products mascaras do those really i mean they're kind of boring it's a lot of the same stuff and i'm using a lot of the same mascaras just so i can get the last bit of use out of them before i feel like the time expiration is definitely up on them but here's some liquid shadows i have one from the give line from gwen stefani i try to stay away from these types of paint shadows overall um, but I got sucked into this one and I just need to keep trying it and just making sure I like it or don't like it so I can give some thoughts. It looks really pretty, you know, um, it's always in the blend out. That's the thing with a lot of these products on this larger area of skin looks so good. But when you're really concentrating it on such a small area of the eye, that's when you really see the difference. The other two things here from About Face, these fractal eye paints really stunning this one is in the shade smolder that one there and this is another uh nicola rose and then this one here oh this is like a bronze one i think there's another more neutral or like lighter shade but this bronze shade is called fracture so i'm putting both those in and then i do have i forgot i have one from half magic everything's rolling away <laughs> uh, but this is blue look at that stunning stunning little shadow so i'm gonna put that one in too and yeah that's most of the fun stuff to be honest i mean these are just kind of like boring mascaras i'm picking three different eyeliner pens which isn't a lot but i guess i'll swatch them swatch them for you <laughs> this one is a new one from julep i really wanted it because it's shimmery and taupe this one is called taupe shimmer how appropriate. <laughs> what a name. I put this plum one in from uh, Persona because I thought that one would be really, really pretty. And then I went with this House Labs. 
chartreuse look at just that color combo that is just a killer color combo that 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 oh that's my life that's like i love that to be honest that's kind of in my palette from odin's eye there's like a dark taupey it's not as purple as this but you get the chartreuse you get kind of the silver smoky color and you get the kind of taupey matte color just saying <laughs> just saying now that i have these all picked out i'm gonna start putting some stuff away because it's starting to get chaotic out here on this thing again we're back to the beginning of the video it feels like so i want to start putting some stuff away so that way we can still shop some more and you know things aren't getting absolutely everywhere Okay, we got a lot in. This is foundations, concealers, powders, primers. Oh, this is in the wrong place. That goes up there. This is all my cheek products. This is all shadow sticks, I know. This is more like mascara, liner, primer, eyeshadow primer, that type of stuff. And then this is all like single, tinier, you know, eyeshadow product. I'm hoping to be able to fit these into the bottom drawer with my other palette. So I'm gonna go and pick out about 10 palettes. I don't want any more than that because obviously I have a lot of cream. Those I usually layer under other powders. So, you know, I can have multiple things, but I want to really focus on a lot of this and have things to kind of, you know, support those shadows. Okay, I did a kind of a bad job. Definitely more than 10 palettes here, but first off, the Isamea Industrial 2.0. Obsessed with this palette. Definitely putting that in. It's all shimmer. It's stunning. I'm like really, really happy I bought this. Everyone was so right. <laughs> Everyone was so right. An oldie but a goodie and another all shimmer, the LH Cosmetics Enchanted Secrets palette. This is another one I thought would just pair over so many of those creams so nicely. I put two of these quads from Sigma in here. I have caramel apple and blueberry parfait. I just thought both of these would be so nice for kind of that transition. I really love the smokiness of this one. And then caramel apple just made me feel like fall. So I put it in. I put all the flower beauty palettes in here. So this is the jungle lights, the original one that I had. Hate that this one's black and the rest are white. I wonder if they changed it and I just have an old palette or what, but man. It's it's left out over here, but I do have desert lights. I got the two new ones as well, coastal lights and garden lights. So um, I'm just keeping on testing these. This is the Lancome and Louvre palette. Really been loving this. It's pretty soft overall. It's all shimmer though. I feel like I can get a really beautiful shimmery look. It's not like big pieces of sparkle, but absolutely stunning. I've loved my eye look every time. I've even been using the green, which is a soft, almost like duochrome black base, but it's like, you know, kind of sheer. It's not like full on metallic pigment, but really beautiful. I want to keep using that. The I Need a Nude. I'm not over this. I want it in there because it's beautiful, easy to wear, everyday looks. Like love, love, love it. An older one though, Nabla side by side. I just thought that I would bust this out. I really haven't given this a ton of love. And I liked that they had some mattes in here. I don't know. I just thought those could be nice to use as well. So that's going in. It's that time of year for the Van Gogh palette. Unfortunately, uh, Kyla is no longer a brand or Muse Beauty. It was Muse Beauty, then they changed it to Kyla, and now it's no longer a brand. So anyway, this is like a relic, <laughs> but I also picked this because it has the yellows in it. So I thought that would be nice, but I just love this color story. So fall, like harvesty, just beautiful. Love it. And last, the biggest palette in here from Nomad, this is the Ghost Town USA. There are just some really pretty colors in here, and I love, again, like the mattes, the shimmers, and I'm excited to keep playing with this more. So I'm putting that in here, although I didn't want to pick too many spooky palettes because I want to probably, you know, play with those a little bit more in October. So I definitely at this point have quite a few like Halloween or Halloween adjacent palettes, I feel like to pick from to wear this year, which is really exciting. So those are all my palettes. Let's see if they fit. <laughs> Ugh. 
so close. It really was a Tetris moment. These three don't fit. So I'll probably just stick them in this drawer or maybe even up here. You can't even see it. I moved um, those little palettes up here and I might move the other little palettes up there as well. When I'm in the midst of like the reality of actually using all this makeup, I don't know if I'm gonna have the patience to play Tetris every single day, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, they'll probably move around a little bit, but I feel happy with all those choices still, so I'm keeping them. Let's finish this up and pick some lip products out though. That is last on the list. I don't have a ton of space though. This is it, they gotta fit in here. <laughs> so let's see what we can find. Okay, so like I mentioned, this last section over here, these two stacks of drawers are all my lip products. And I think what I'm gonna do is pick one lip product from each section. I thought that'd be kind of fun. That still is what, 18 lip products? Oh my gosh, I thought that'd be small. 18 is not small. So I think that'll be a fun way to like force me to pick maybe different things than I would normally. So one per drawer, let's go. I'm gonna swatch everything at the end. So let me just go through and pick. I think that'll be the easiest. But again, if you want like a full lip product, you know, moment, let me know. We can go through these drawers too and do it in a fun way. Let me know. Okay, let's take a look at the lip products I picked out. I didn't exactly follow the rules. Some I didn't pick anything from, some I picked two from. I think it evens out where I'm still down a product maybe, so um, I have a little bit of room. I actually do have a few more lip products in another drawer, all my liquid lipsticks, as well as my, all my Kaleidos lip products, so I might pick something from there as well. Probably one of the glassy, glossy, glowy lips that Kaleidos just came out with because I'm obsessed with them and I think they're so good. Yeah, I just went and grabbed it right now. Why not? So let's start with this one. This is, I think it's called Free Fall. This is so pretty. It's like a silvery kind of gray, lightly tinted black lip gloss kind of, but it looks kind of clear. Clear, but it adds just a tiny bit of something kind of deeper to the lips. Love it. Feels so good on the lips too. I picked out this Nabla, the new like jelly shine that they are, and I got the shade Loose, Loose. It's L-U-Z, okay? I don't know how to say it. But I thought this was a nice like everyday color, but also kind of mauve -y. I feel like it's pretty for fall, but also everyday. I picked a lot of, I feel like, fall leaning lip products in here. You'll see. The Ink Mood lip product I picked from Peri Para. Similar, right? Like kind of berry, but still relatively like easy to wear every day. That's in the shade four from the Ink Moods. This one's such a classic Clinique Black Honey. Do you see a trend? Do you see a trend, guys? <laughs> this is a new lip gloss from Bare Minerals that they sent me, so I wanted to give this one a try, but it also kind of fit that more mauve purple thing, but it's more of a gloss formula instead of a balm. And this is the shade Love. I did pick some everyday lip products though too. I have the Summer Fridays Butter Balm or Lip Butter in the shade Pink Sugar, love this. I'll give you guys a swatch. It's a very light, like pink, kind of glossy, easy every day. The Dior Lip Glow in the shade Pink. I put that in just cause again, super easy to wear. And then probably one of my all time favorite lip glosses from Patrick Ta, this is called She's Expensive. It's so glossy, so glowy, has so much nice sheen to it. Love wearing this with just like a lip liner. Speaking of, I picked three lip liners out. I did MAC Whirl for every day. Mac World's like perfect. I thought it could work with a lot of the stuff. Like a lot of stuff's gonna work for that. This is Milani Spice, which I feel like is just slightly more warm toned than Whirl. And then for some of the more purple themed or purple toned stuff, I went with Plum from Jane Iredell. If I wanted to go for a little bit of a darker lip look, I thought that'd be a good liner to pair with some stuff. I picked this little mini Laneige lip mask. This one is in Mint Choco. Um, I wanna try to finish this up. It's so small, it needs to go. This Elmo gloss, honestly, so pretty. <laughs> I did not think I'd say that, but it is such a beautiful tint of red. 
love that great for any of those like last minute summer looks i love like a popsicle but glossy sheer lip like this i thought it'd be fun to bring back out the tart plump maracuja juicy lip you remember when these are all the rage do people still love these i don't know it's been a while since i've used mine i can tell you that much so um i want to <laughs> I can't even get a swatch for you guys. I'm gonna put that in and just, you know, revisit it. This Pat McGrath is a little bit dark and sexy. This was in my boxy term, I wanna say. It's called Nocturnal Amour. So let's find a spot for it. Oh yeah, look at that. We're getting vampy. We're getting into fall with that lip color for sure. Last two, giving kind of similar vibes from Unleashia. This is the glossy lip. I don't know the color. They're not on the packaging, so annoying. This one's more of like a berry red though. It's looking pretty red, almost strawberry actually. So that I put in and then this one from McQueen. This is the cotton tint in number six. And again, this is actually more of a red too. Sometimes the outside's a little bit hard to tell, but I put some just fun colors in too. I thought that would be maybe a thing I could make a look around, especially as I'm using some of those shadow sticks that might be a little more neutral. I can go a little more bold with the lip choices. So those are all the lips. Let's see if they fit. <laughs> also, and as always, K-Beauty lip products do not play. They stain the shit out of you. They all fit. Yeah, they fit really nicely. I definitely can notice a little bit more of that like mauve kind of almost purple tinge seeping through the color scheme. All right, here is the stack of makeup in all of its glory. I definitely filled it up this time. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to play with, which is so exciting. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed the video, the kind of vlog style. I hope this inspires you to shop your stash, have fun with your makeup, and you know, even even on a more personal side, you know, even if things aren't going the way you thought, even if you're a little off track, I hope that you give yourself a little bit of grace and remember that every day is a new day. Every choice is a new choice. You don't need a clean slate. Every choice is that clean slate for you. But anyway, enough of that, my gosh. Um, last year, thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring the video. You can use my code LAUREMAY55 to save 55% off your first month over at Scentbird. You can also scan the QR code. Again, if you pick anything up, let me know what scent you picked out. I'd love to know. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.